On behalf of the Hong Kong judiciary, I extend a warm welcome to all of you at this ceremonial opening of the new Court of Final Appeal building. The occasion is first and foremost a significant one for the Hong Kong community. I shall say something more about the community later. We are honored by the presence of President Zhou Chang, Chief Justice of the People's Republic of China, President of the Supreme People's Court, Zhou Chang Yunjia, the Chief Executive, and Mr. Zhang Xiaoming, the Director of the Liaison Office of the Central People's Government uh, in the Hong Kong Special Administrative Region. We are also honored by the presence of the Chief Secretary, the Secretary for Justice, and the President of the Legislative Council. Today's legal ceremony is important for the law and for everyone involved in the law. It is, of course, of significance to the Court of Final Appeal itself. The Court of Final Appeal has served Hong Kong since the July 1st, 1997. It was established under the basic law of the Hong Kong Special Administrative Region of the People's Republic of China. I mentioned earlier the considerable significance of this building reverting to the judiciary. The significance lies in what the building represents to the community. And what is represented is the rule of law in Hong Kong. Whether one is a long-term historical observer of Hong Kong or only of recent events here, there is one common feature that Hong Kong has always faced challenges. In facing these challenges, Hong Kong has always regarded the existence of the rule of law to be crucial in providing the necessary stability amidst change. This is reflected in the basic law. The basic law implements the basic policies of the central government regarding Hong Kong. One of the principal themes of the basic law is the maintenance and continuation of those institutions that have contributed to Hong Kong's success over the years. Obviously of importance among such institutions is the rule of law. Those components of the rule of law which are of particular relevance to Hong Kong, indeed to all common law jurisdictions of which Hong Kong is one, comprise first the due recognition of rights and fundamental freedoms, not just for, one's, for oneself, but also for others. Respect for one's rights, respect for the rights of others, and equality of all persons before the law. Secondly, the existence of an independent judiciary to enforce those rights and fundamental freedoms. These themes are recognized throughout the basic law. The reference in Article 2 of the basic law to in, uh, independent judicial power means judicial independence and this is repeated in two other articles. The term judicial power means the responsibility of the courts to adjudicate disputes impartially and according to law. The maintenance of laws previously enforced in Hong Kong, including the common law and rules of equity, is another recurring theme in the basic law. The reference to the common law is an important one. The common law, with its emphasis on fairness, justice, and the adherence to legal principle and the spirit of the law has served Hong Kong well over the years and will continue to do so. Decisions of the courts may sometimes not be to everybody's liking, whether they be private individuals, political and other groups, or even the government, but it is not the role of the courts to make popular decisions. The function of the courts is to adjudicate on disputes according to the law and its spirit, 
and judges are to discharge their responsibilities in accordance with their judicial oath, namely to do so honestly and with integrity, without fear or favour, self-interest or deceit. The courts and judges also do this openly, with very limited exceptions. Open justice is a key feature in Hong Kong's system of law. I've mentioned earlier the restoration of this magnificent building, but this is not to look to the past. She represents the future in Hong Kong. I'm frequently in contact with young persons in Hong Kong. One recurring theme among them is the wish that Hong Kong will continue to prosper and to develop even further than it has. They all recognize the need for the continuation of all those facets and institutions that have served Hong Kong well. It is, after all, their home. The rule of law provides the social stability that is the foundation of a content and prosperous society. This symbol, this building, is the symbol of the rule of law in Hong Kong. And this institution remains as strong as it ever has been in our community. For our part, the courts and judges will always discharge their daily responsibilities with this firmly in mind. Thank you.